time to dive straight into the show with the most important part, the Indie of the Week. And this week, we're getting down with Iliana Games. <laughs> that's how we're going. That's how we're going to pronounce it. That's, that's it. Uh, that's which, it. You've been renamed, regardless. That's yeah. your name. Now. <laughs> this, this is what you are. This is what you do. Uh, so, the Iliada Game Studio does laser cut terrain in multiple scales. This is just their front page with some new exciting things on it. Uh, but they do a host of scales um, and also genres as well. So they do sci-fi, they do fantasy, they do Victoria. Anna, sci-fi type things. Uh, your your Martians, your War of the Worlds. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I'll start with fantasy because fantasy is sort of one of the smaller sections and easier to gently break you into it. Uh, he is wafer thin. <laughs> it is. It's, it's very much a wafer thin. Uh, so, as you would expect to see from most laser cut companies these days, they do a good range of terrain, which means you can get your stuff on tabletop very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, which is what people are after these days, they tell me. Yeah. And not just yeah. leave it lying in a box in the corner like I do for, <laughs> for months slash decades. I have so many packs of MDF terrain that I haven't built. <laughs> okay. top, top. Isn't that the sort of the oxymoron here? Is that mm -hmm. how you say that? that the oxymoron. terrain yeah, the terrain packs come so well packed that they're so easy to stack up these Very particular easy MDF ones. <laughs> Uh, I think like uh, th this is I think it's from uh, some of their more recent stuff because they did the mm -hmm. harbor setting which was yeah. all kind of done yeah. for um, people playing uh, like blood and plunder and all sorts of things yeah. like that so mm. they, they had like a proper nice Ooh. harbor set and a lighthouse and all sorts of different things which was nice so, oh, and ships oh. ships ships Very with nice. the worst thing in the world rigging rigging <laughs> rigging's optional kids you don't have to put rigging on <laughs> Feel free to not put rigging on. When did you realise you didn't have the patience for rigging, Jerry? Uh, the, minute, the minute a ship arrived with rigging on it, I, <laughs> it and I went, you know what, I'm not doing any of this. Uh, but like, uh, like Ben was saying there, for something like Blood and Plunder, this is excellent, but also for fantasy games, mm. um, pretty much all of them will require Although, something Although, like if you put the rigging on, I bet you that makes those masts and stuff a bit harder to break. I imagine mm. it would do, um, but I'm still not doing it. Also, it'll look authentic, Jerry. It would. So. Oh, okay. There's no point. <laughs> you know what it is. You can't bully okay. me. We'll, we't we'll get just we'll get just I, like, I like its rag. I like its pit for the rancor in the middle. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's that's where your cargo goes. Yeah. Be, it, be it rancors or barrels of rum. Um, but yeah, the uh, the harbor buildings, the the wooden dock sets, very mm -hmm. good for things like. Uh, Carnivale as well because they yes. do little I know. watch them do dads. What do they call those things? It's a wall. No, not a wall. It's what? like a like a wall, but different raised walls. A fence. These things, docks. They do oh, docks. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. A got fence there. for yeah. ships. There you go. <laughs> a ship fence. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you could easily have these sort of lined up alongside they? the canal in, in Venice or something, just add some additional sort of flags and decorations on mm. to make them more Venetian and away mm. you go. And you know, as soon as you add sort of some blinds, canal barges and all sorts of things in there as well, you'd be fine. So nah, I saw that blood and plunder is the way to go with this stuff. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, we true. thought you thought you might like that. <laughs> I'd also like to they do these and they do these, you'll find them in a few different uh, sections at different scales. Splat markers. Splat markers. <laughs> oh fab. Which I'm a big <laughs> fan of because looking for interesting things to put behind your units to mark fatigue and not just have little dice or little, you know, red glass beads or whatever it happens to be. You can't buy miniatures, and I've bought some in the past, um, but you end up you're paying the same amount as you are for your actual units mm -hmm. in fatigue markers just to lie there being dead. So I quite like the fact that they do that. Yeah, also, and you could spray through them and get chalk outlines on streets. I was, I, was just I was just thinking that. I was just yeah. thinking, but I was thinking I'd just literally stick the wee men to the streets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just just do a little white outline along the outside. Like some so. some prick outside our office once stuck a pound to the floor to see if how many people would go over and try to prize it up. <laughs> I did that. And this and this was before the days of YouTube. Right? Oh, yeah. but he must have been sitting in the ship shop across the road enjoying himself watching. <laughs> oh, oh, I love the, that. Uh, That's right. The swallow in. Is, is really nice so good level of detail across the board on the the fantasy stuff and do uh, these come pre-painted 
as far as I'm aware, these ones do. There's some other bits and pieces that look like they are just the MDF printed. Just the MDF, yeah. yeah. Just the, the, the I was going to say natural, but there's nothing natural about MDF. <laughs> um, yeah, pre Yeah, these ones are pre painted, yeah. yeah. But things like that. I really like them. The yeah. collaging. Yeah. I, I, the thing that's quite nice about these is obviously you've got the Fabled Realm stuff that foreground do, which mm. is very good, but that obviously has that slightly more exaggerated fantasy feel to yes. it. Yes. These, I think, work nicely to kind of cross the, the gap between fantasy and historical, which is yes. really cool. So it's a nice alternative to have as an option. So There's a lot to be said about Tudor style buildings. Mm-hmm. Very much so. Yeah. They work all over. I should start English Civil War. They work through different time periards as well, no, which is great. Probably. So yeah. I won't start English Civil War. Stop that. Why would you even say that? Anyway, so I do. Fantasy. There's also 15 mil stuff, which is oh, some miniatures. Um, so these are quite nice. Throw some of these up. So if you're interested in playing tiny, tiny fighting men, like uh, the way I think it should be done. <laughs> So your 15 mil yeah. RPGs, that's exactly, sort of yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then they have a, a nice range in here. Yeah. Uh, obviously, what? again, sort of traditional fantasy. There you go, Ben. Yeah. Look at that. Look at him. My character of choice. Could they be wearing a breastplate? Yeah. Or could that just be his belly? Who can say? <laughs> I was except, thinking that. Except if you go back, the problem with getting down 15 mil, if you scroll back through some of those pictures mm-hmm. is they don't necessarily look like they're shouting more than they're shocked in all these pictures. Shocked. Go back another one. It's a dragon. Oh. Shocked. Oh. <laughs> Go back another one. Yeah. That cleric's just met an atheist. Oh. <laughs> an atheist on a world where gods actually walk. I'm appalled. Shocked. He, he looks disgusted by something. <laughs> look even dwarf. Paladin. Ooh. Um, <laughs> with his bull cut haircut. <laughs> human mercenaries as well. <laughs> Give me the option for those. I hate you, human mercenaries, for not giving me the option to see these. That's better. Yeah. Here we go. Trumpeter. Dashing forward. So I don't motion know. blur and everything. I'm Most still on, the, I'm still on the, the 15 mil RPG train is the way to go. Yeah. yeah, so You can put them in your pocket. Exactly, much easier for yeah. the players and the DM. Have so. terrain in one pocket, miniatures mm-hmm. in the other. Don't even have to carry a case with you. <laughs> just empty pockets out on the table when you get there. Just get there, just wear a big yeah. donkey jacket, plenty of, plenty of pocket space. Yeah. It is nice that they kind of match up a lot of the stuff they do with ranges that would be applicable for them. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Yes. way of doing things so because i work with a lot of different companies i think that need to sort of like host their miniatures as well stuff there. yeah that's very cool oh, so i like those room now oh that room yeah that's gorgeous mm. very cool. i really like with mdf terrain because it does have the burnt edges it works perfectly for room buildings mm. oh yeah yeah <laughs> the amount of people who just leave that on <laughs> yeah exactly it's very cool it's because nobody wants to take it off well, no. I have hope. I have packets of baby wipes here for whenever I'm doing MDF terrain. Uh, everything gets right. everything gets a scrub down first. Yeah, because otherwise you just end up spreading does, the burn. Does that help get rid of the smell of the MDF terrain as well? Do you know the way it has distinctive smell to it and it lasts mm-hmm. for a long time? No, it, uh, it'll always be with you unless you hit it with a varnish or something. Try and cover the smell. Febreze won't fix it. Just say. <laughs> those are nice. I like those. Yeah, They're lovely varnish, and it works though. Like you've just said, yeah, because we once got an army in the office that was from a guy who'd smoked for 20 years beside it and it's oh. Oh, yeah. oh, but we've arsed it and that fixed the problem. Yeah, that's why those Holy. Eldar were I am them. It's because of the yellow from the tobacco smoke. <laughs> all the nicotine all the time. Those, those little 15 mil goblins are awesome. Oh, they're great, aren't they? So I can't, are these... Oh, he's fab. I'm not sure who these are actually by. That's the, or whether or not they're in house, but uh, they're very cool. So. I've not seen anything that says they b- belong to anybody in particular mm, and that they're okay. reselling. So I think they may be an in-house range. Very nice. mm-hmm. but yeah, so that's their, their 15. Mm-hmm. And obviously there's some of the older stuff in 15 is just plain. Or their sort of larger castle section yeah. kind of things like that. So you can, Very cool. you can build your <laughs> yeah. way up through there. Mm. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you a quick look at more before mm. we go anywhere else because there's, there's something in here you should see if I go to plastic miniatures. 
we'll ignore the rest of the stuff. Nobody cares about blogs and hex bases and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. So they do some super chunky mechs. Rusty and, mecha. Oh. <laughs> and cheapy looking wow. things. I love of that. <laughs> Space horse. <laughs> Space horse, coast to coast. <laughs> Rusky the muty cat. Oh, look at him. You can put a That's whole, awesome. put a whole crew just... these together for Stargrave. He looks yeah. infuriated like somebody just threw water over him. Yeah, you know? I <laughs> I will not have a bath. <laughs> he pushed something off a table, but unfortunately, there's zero cheese. So it's <laughs> He's never been so annoyed in all his days. Oh, I definitely do start great with a bunch of these. They're fab. That's awesome. Yeah. So these are um, some form of, of ABS injection molded plastic. Mm-hmm. So they will be a little soft. But if you're planning on just doing cheap and cheerful uh, figures or armies, mech or battles, mech yeah. lances. <laughs> Two pound for a mech. It's pretty good. Yeah, it can't yeah. be can't be bad for that. Can't. And you can yeah. buy an MDF boat as a weapon for it. That one, <laughs> that one reminds me of the droids from Spaceballs. It's because he's got the skirt. Ah, that's right. it. The skirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so there is a, a little set of uh, <gasps> unusual miniatures. Well, mm. Which one are you on about? You want to see the goat, don't you? Yeah, I want to see the goat, Jerry. <laughs> Shocking. Oh, that's fab. Rawr. Anyway. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> hey, oh. I told that note. Let's have a look at sci-fi. So sci-fi is where they really shine. Um, a lot of scales and a lot of stuff in their Ooh. scales. So some of it will be repeated, obviously. Once you've got the plans uh, in a computer, or you can make it print at whatever scale you want. But it's uh, it's when they start adding in the Victoriana stuff. I really love them. So cool. You two Aww. have a Martian tripod. It's always so nicely detailed as well. It's a nice thing. With, with all the like all the flat panels of, um, mm-hmm. tend to have lots of detail worked yeah. into them. So it's not just sort of like bare wood, as it were. So And you know what they say? The chances of anything coming from <laughs> Mars are a million to one, they say. <laughs> anyway. But still they come. <laughs> <laughs> All of the antenna. Yep. Uh, and you can see there, you can get them in 3, 6, and 15 mil. So the big Martian stompy thing is um, is part of the 3 mil range or the 1 600th, uh, which is nice. This is some sort of 15 mil Hover floating tank, hover probably. tank. Yeah. Well, by the but time you get down to 15 mil, though, you should just get those spiders with the big long legs and just get a box of them, dump them on the table dump and see the where table. they go. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that look like daddy long legs with no, le- with no wings, those ones. Oh, yeah. Catching them in a jar, yeah. releasing them the next day. <laughs> Your opponent just runs away. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oil derricks, pumping oh, stations. Cool. Oh, they're great. I like them. Lots of nice things for kind of adding a little extra character to tabletop. Yeah. Don't I would take those things there to board games. You see if you have any board games about capturing oh, the world. Yeah, yeah. Put them on like mm. your oil fields and stuff. You, you captured that. Yeah. Cool. That'd be nice. Yeah. Definitely. I 100%. I'll jump into the 1 600 while we're talking about 1 600 stuff. So we started off doing uh, American Civil War. Mm-hmm. And then from there, started adding in the sci fi bits. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And these are great. Because you've got um, little tiny silhouettes Ooh. in three mil. Great so for you, doing very high, oh sort of like yeah, high perspective war game effectively. So yeah, yeah a huge divisional or core. Oh, level nice! Marching around the place, I really like them, and Ooh. it's the sort of thing I look at and I'm going, you know what? They have a certain charm all of their own without yeah, being yeah. painted yeah. I, at that scale I don't oh. think I'd bother mm-hmm. I'd just put them together and keep them in the, the bare wood yeah. slash card at that point they, they become tractors. more like board game components and yeah. also like, like, rather than them actually being miniatures if you know what I mean which is yeah I think that's a really good idea just leave them as they are maybe add something to the bases or something to represent which ones belong to which side or something yeah away you well go. in most cases you'll know I mean that's human because that's a stagecoach. Well, yeah. yeah. 
And then these crab men are Martians as they oh, yeah. scuttle towards you. Do, easiest way to tell, do we have them on Earth? If it's Incredible a no, event, chances that's are. That's <laughs> <laughs> there's also, oh, that's nice. There's yeah. also a few monitor ships yeah. uh, with little 3D printed guns, which is cute. Oh, they, cool. They're just darling, aren't they? Yeah. They're very cute. I'm, I'm very much on board with the 1600 stuff. Mm. They'd be very good for that game we looked at a couple of couple of weeks ago. The uh, well, last year, whatever it was. <laughs> a couple. What of weeks is ago, time, Ben? To be, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, if you go a few weeks back, the, it was the, last year. It was the scary, scary biscuit stuff. Ah, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. The, the, they did the ironclads that so, yeah. <laughs> well, fifteen mil, uh, more of the same. Yeah. So the, the same sort of thing, but also as you can see. Some resiny tanks thrown in here as well, and the, the fifty mil shop fronts. Oh, I'm they're great. These in. They're great, and they would work for twenty eight mil as well because they are just neon shop fronts or signs. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you've got haggis on a stick, I mean, yeah. if it's on a twenty, if it's <laughs> a, above the door of a twenty eight mil building, it still works. Uh, I like <laughs> Panzerburger and Bob yeah. Wee Quee's Weave Emporium. General Shatz Mexican curry fusion really yep. does what it says on the tin. It really yeah. does, yeah. Iron hundred percent. Iron hundred percent. Some slightly more, I suppose, regular uh, shop fronts as well, which is a bit dull. But you kind of everything. Yeah, regular that. code for boring. Yeah, yeah. yeah and not one. But not if you stick them. It's not probably you, chicken. But not if you stick them together. Go back to the other signs. Oh yeah. yeah. Like if you make combinations like. Hospital burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Stick the two yes. together. You're right. Yeah, what did we have on the last cyborg bar drugstore? Who yeah. knows? Cyborg club <laughs> could be above the door, and then you just have nightclub house. house. Yeah, yeah, running, running have... vertically down the side. Yeah, you yeah. have nightclub drugstore. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, the the little resin tanks again for that. When the uh, the Martians come, we have like to up our ships. game. Mm. Say that are they actually? Oh no, they're cards. The cardstock and MDF. Oh. That's very good. Oh, pretty cheap as well. I think. Yeah, it's... I've, I've gone too far there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That is nice. It's very much like a Russian land ship. Mm. How many turrets can we fit on this? Well, we can fit more on <laughs> if we make it longer. Make it longer then, and mm. give me more turrets. <laughs> So anyway, we'll defeat the Martians. <laughs> the little Pasha. Mm. These would be quite cool for um, full spectrum dominance as well. The guy, Lazy Forgers. Oh, uh, uh, right. Yeah. Game that they're working on. Because yeah. there's nothing to say that it has to be hard sci-fi. It could easily be. No, yeah. Yeah. Six mil Victoriana. Mm. Or you or could, could have your... From, sorry, go. You could have your 28 mil guys with little radio controllers and have a tank battle going <laughs> <Yes>. on. <laughs> uh, That's the sci-fi equivalent of them playing football over the trenches kind of thing. Yeah. 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 So the, 20 like the tiles and stuff. Yeah. 28 mil gives you some tiles and scatter. Very good for necromunda. That's just about to say all of that stuff. Uh, this, that, I don't know who came up with this first, but it's become sort of industry standard now. Where oh, you, oh, yeah, the Coke you, can towers. You build yeah. around... Tins. They say Coke can. If you get a beer can, you can have a much taller tower or go for a two level effect with a nice path mm -hmm. running down through them. Oh, yeah. Pringles can if you want to go really mad. Or Pringles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Different dimension of Pringles can, though, to a Coke can. I know that. Uh, so Jerry's right with those extra. Do you know the way you get the, the beer cans with the mm -hmm. extra bit and you can get them like the 20% extra Pine stuff size. in them? Yeah, yeah. So that's the ones to go to if you want really big ones. And a good drink at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I know foreground have been coming back to doing oh, stuff with Coke cans and things. So yeah. you know, it's definitely uh, a, a big thing in the industry. So. It's, a, it's a very accessible way of upcycling yeah. your garbage and, mm -hmm. and adding curves to laser cut MDF, which is the hardest thing to do. Normally. Yeah. So, yeah. You yeah. know, why not go that yeah. way? Um, but they also have some little miniatures as well. <gasps> Now these are the ones that I, are from a different studio who I actually also want to look at as an indie in the future because I was I saw well, these and was like we won't spend much time here buy. but but we will because they have a very nice range it's yeah. forlorn hope uh, and they have a very very cool set of miniatures for, for for all sorts of different things but yeah they're very good as like gang steps yeah. sort of stepping gangs and that kind of thing so yeah if you're doing something like 
Necromunda or Stargrave and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. oh, uh, I can't remember the actor's name. It's it's from Multipass, Multipass. Remember oh. the, the captain with his brother oh, who yes. spent his time in yeah, Old Code yeah, in Dallas? Yeah. Yeah. The, one gets, I mean. the one that gets frozen. That's the one. <gasps> mm-hmm. The fifth element. Is that Stormtrooper with an umbrella? <laughs> no, it's, it's a gentleman. Well, yeah. He'd be very, he'd be very good for the uh, post-Brexit devastated wasteland game. <laughs> hey, Jasmine, yeah. like a fine gentleman. You are, yeah. you are correct. Never go anywhere without your bowler and brolly. <laughs> Certainly not into the ash wastes of London that was. And he's got a blue passport tucked into his jeans. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. We can have it called In Search of a Chocolate Orange. <laughs> <laughs> we shall... Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll leave the forlorn hope there, shall we? <laughs> Oh, nice little cats. Delightful little oh, bunker. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's that kind of stuff that's very simple but effective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you could always just add, like, obviously, you know, just spray that and away you go, basically. Spray it and do a bit of dry brushing and you're mm-hmm. done, basically. But you could add texture paint to it if you wanted to as well mm-hmm. to give it a little bit more of a, a sort of weathered, beaten up look or something. Um do, some, or do something around the bases as well. Look, and you can even disassemble Stephanie. No, disassemble Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Bunkers. quite good for storage, though. It, it is, is, yeah. Disassemble yeah. it yeah. and set it away. Mm-hmm. Uh, Very cool idea. We'll have a look at their spacey fleet stuff. Not just the, the hex stands. <laughs> Not just the hex stands. <laughs> I wanted to show you the specific hex. Well, that, that hex stand... Is, to be honest, there was a hex stand drought last year, and I'm not saying a billion suns caused it, but <laughs> what I will say is everybody on their billion suns page, they were trading them like bottle caps from oh, one of the, wow. the, the Future Times games. <laughs> uh, so These having things nice. like jump yeah. gates. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Because, you know, you need multiple jump gates for billion suns anyway. Go to the other picture. I really like how it's gone. Does it, does it allow you to, ooh. Mm. Oh, we stick it together at different sizes. It would have been really cool if you could have slid that around. Oh, like a like a Stargate oh, style thing. Yeah, so yeah. locking into the. Yeah. You probably could probably do something with it yeah, to make it look like that. But that's really cool. I like that. Is it the right scale for billion suns? Yes, yes, it yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have some of our ships. Yeah. Could be a nice Corvette. <laughs> so the incommensurable. Good. I like it. And the incalculable. All the mass drivers all the time. Nice. And I like these because, you know, A Billion Sons is a cracking game and these are dirt cheap. Oh, yeah. And, you know. Like absurdly cheap. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do a I fleet. I mean, you're importing them, but absurdly cheap. If you want yeah. to do a fleet, away you go. I quite yeah. Like oh, yeah. That. That's the multi-stand. That's quite cool. I like the multi-stand. I bet that would rotate a little bit as well. No, it's, it's <laughs> squared in the middle. Oh, oh. I, have, I have a set of circular ones, so there's another company Ooh. that does them, that which which you could spin. And it even comes with six missile tokens, so it's not to waste the material. How good is that? That's good. It's very good. I don't need missiles for a billion some, but you know, I'll, I'll not say no to them. Uh, but they've also put together some more Eldari looking things with the pioneers, oh. more sort of swept mm-hmm. nacelles. That's great. Yeah. The Trekkie one on the other page stands out, but I would never buy it because I'd never be able to play it without thinking Star Trek. Hmm. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I know exactly what one you meant as well. Yeah, yeah. The Star the Trek assault, one. The, assault ship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the one that was actually the Star Trek. The USS Enterprise. <laughs> Look at that with its wings. Look at its mm. little... That's really cool. Acrylic hexy wings. Such a nice little no, addition. Yeah. It's even in your eye and in colours. It is. It's, it's actually not. It's blue and yellow, so it's <laughs> really Al- Alatoc. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever they are, we all know who we're talking about, even if we don't know how to pronounce it. Not the mercenaries, then? You wouldn't get into the mercenaries. <gasps> Deep Space That's Harbor. Space Station. Deep Space Harbor. Do you need Deep Space, space te- Deep Space 10. <laughs> we, need, we need to buy nine of these. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to say it now, and I'll probably annoy some people, but Deep Space Nine is probably one of the best Star Trek shows. Why don't that annoy people? Because some people are like, oh, the the original series all the time. It's the least Star Trek-like one. That's why it's the best. All the ones that follow Star Trek. It goes Deep Space Nine, then Next Generation, and then 
others. Voyage and is then, quite good. I, I think Voyage is pretty good. And then the Orville to go somewhere or another. Oh, the Orville <laughs> is the best Star Trek show. That is true. <laughs> oh, well, thank can, you. Candy coloured. <laughs> that one with the big cannabis thing. No other than mercenaries. <laughs> like strange, stoned um, <laughs> what, yeah. coming at you. Falling Fleet 20. We're blazing it to the new system. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, oh, that's, great. that's enough of that. So, space fleet is a thing that exists. That's really awesome. I like that. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, and then we also have, oh, planet dinosaurs. I would love to show you, but it's kind of a coming soon. Yeah, there's a few things in there, but not, yeah, not yeah. too much. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'll let other people. You can find it yourselves. We mm-hmm. give you the links for these. <laughs> you can click in there. It's so, so much fun stuff to have a look yeah. at. So. Oh, no, no, you're not going to look at that. No, okay. Hang on. No. Didn't break it. It just took a wee while to catch me up. I was ahead of the game on this one. If anybody is thinking Orc Battle Wagon, then I'm going to have to say, sure. Can't really argue with you on that one. Look at that. Just rolling over everybody with their tidy fighting men in the back. (laughs) They're kind of probably thinking Spice Miner, though, aren't they? They are, but, you know, it doesn't have uh, David Lynch on board. (laughs) Who is this? Identify yourself. Or you could make some tunnels and have a guy shouting, Quaid, where are you, Quaid? <laughs> <laughs> Free your mind. Oh, no. It's cool they do these in loads of different sizes as well. Yeah. Um, so Obviously, there are certain games out there that are skill specific. Uh, and then there are a lot of people who already play various fleet battle games and Victorian sci-fi and that sort of thing. Yeah. So, so being able to, to find another... Um, outlet for a host of stuff in a variety of scales is excellent, I think. Nice to could you've got that sort of combined arms element with that yeah. because this then allows you to have oh. both your foot troops with vehicles with sort of aerial elements as well at the same time. Scroll back up. Oh, you missed it. There's, a whole, jetty cat. There's a whole sewage treatment plant at the top. There is the water treatment plant. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's totally called at, totally at the end of the road. I like that. <laughs> you can find the water treatment plant. But there we are. So that's look at all that poop. <laughs> <laughs> that is Iliada Studios. Mm, uh, or Iliada nice. Game Studio. Uh, a whole host of stuff to fill pretty much all of your needs. Uh, if you like the smell of burnt wood in the morning, and if you don't, <laughs> hit it with some varnish. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.